There are thousands of cheap games on Steam, and it can be hard to choose which games that you want to play. We are here today to show you some of our favorite games that are pretty cheap, and hopefully will help in your decision on which games you should get. Some of these games in this list will make you scratch your head, and others will be very well-known games. Just keep in mind that all these games are ones we enjoy playing, and the goal of this video is to show you some games that you might think about buying. This is Chug from Keybold Gaming, and today we are going to show you our top 10 best Steam games under $10. Geometry Dash is obviously a great choice to put in this list just because of how much is in the game for you to do. If you don't know what Geometry Dash is, it is technically a mobile game, but you are basically a shape that needs to use the music and complete these parkour-like levels. There are levels built by the creators, and there are levels built by the community. You can even build a level if you wanted to. There's also a ton of customization for your shape as well. It is just an overall great game that is extremely cheap and most people will enjoy. Goat Simulator is another one of those weird games that make absolutely no sense. If you were on YouTube back in 2014, you probably know about this game. The game itself is purposefully buggy by the developers and if you play it, you'll know what we mean. You are a goat, and you're just to explore and destroy stuff. That's pretty much it. There are some collectibles and objectives that give you different abilities to mess around with, but it is just one of those goofy games to play and relax and mess around in. If you are bored, go try this game out for yourself. There are also a ton of DLCs for it too, so if the base game gets boring, you might want to look into the DLCs too. Who's Your Daddy is another game that was big a couple years ago. It is about a father who is trying to protect his son from certain death. You can play as either the father or the baby, and you can play with up to seven other friends. The whole point of the game is to keep your baby away from anything harmful. As the baby, you can eat harmful stuff like bleach and batteries. You can also try to grab forks and try to stick them into electrical sockets. It is honestly one of the weirdest games on Steam, and it is very fun if you have friends to play with. Although, it does get a little bit boring after a while. Garfield Kart is a game that was a meme in part 1 of this video. Yes, it is a Mario Kart ripoff, but honestly, it is a fun karting game. If you don't know what this game is, just read the title. For all the people who watched the Garfield show as a kid, they will appreciate this game a lot because the music and characters are all based on the show. The game is extremely cheap and fun if you have the money. Unfortunately, the first Garfield Kart does not have multiplayer, but if you want to play with your friends, you need to get the second Garfield Kart, which is called Garfield Kart Furious Racing, and that's around $15. But the first game is good meme and a fun game if you're interested. Post Void is an extremely fast-paced first-person shooter that is based on the old-school shooters from before the 2000s. You start out with a small pistol and work your way through these weird buildings while killing these creatures along the way. You also have an idol that you need to keep filled in order to stay alive, and you need to get kills to fill it. After every level, you get to choose a new weapon or get an upgrade for something. But if you die, you have to start all over again. This game is one of the cheapest on this list, but it is definitely worth the money. Islanders is a minimalist strategy building game that's about getting as many points as you can to get more buildings. Basically, you start with a certain number of buildings, and each building needs to be near certain other buildings or structures to give you more points. It is similar to a puzzle game, but when you lose, it is entirely your fault. You aren't timed, but the game can get pretty hard when you get to a low number of buildings to put down. You can only make one mistake. There isn't much else to say about this game other than that it is a very chill game, and it is pretty cheap as well. 
If you like strategy puzzle games, you will enjoy this one. It is very similar to another game called Dorf Romantic, and they are both under $10 if you are also interested in that one as well. Bean Battles is one of the best games on this list, and it has been on many other lists that we made. If you have been following the channel at all, or have been in our Discord, then you will know we base a lot on this game, and it has been a staple within our small community. It is the cheapest game on this list, and probably one of the best games you could buy. Bean Battles is pretty much a small battle royale where you're a bean, and you need to kill all the other beans unless you do a team battle. There isn't really much else to this game, but it is one of the best in this list. If you haven't already, go buy and play Bean Battles for yourself to see what we're talking about. Left 4 Dead 2 is a classic game that if you haven't played, go buy it and play it. Basically, you are one of four survivors and you fight through hordes of zombies. It is the OG zombie game that made the genre famous. You can play with three other friends and help each other through the post-apocalyptic world. If you haven't played it, go and buy it on a sale or even from sites like G2A or GameGator. $10 is the max you need to pay for these games, so remember they do get cheaper on sales. We would also recommend getting the first one as well, because their stories do intertwine. We would recommend buying the whole Valve bundle on a sale, so you can get all the old school Valve games for a cheap price. With that collection comes both Portal games as well, which are honorable mentions for this list. Star Wars Battlefront 2 2005 is one of our favorite games of all time. No, we aren't talking about the 2017 Battlefront 2. This Battlefront 2 came out in 2005 and it was by Lucasfilm themselves. It is the game we played in our childhood and will always be our favorite Star Wars game. We are not entirely sure if the online servers are open in the game because the developers often open them back up again every once in a while. There is also a large modding community, so if that interests you, then go check this game out. Maybe even buy it for nostalgia's sake if you did play it all those years ago. There is so much to do in this game, whether it is the campaign, instant action, or even the galactic conquest modes. We are patiently waiting for a full remake of this game, but I don't think that's in the works. Hopefully it will be in the future. I hope you found this video helpful and make sure to like and subscribe. There are a ton of games that are under $10, but we can't cover them all in one video, so please don't get mad if we didn't put your favorite game on this list. Also check out part one, because we have a few more there if you want to check those out too. We know we put a lot of well-known games on this list, but there are some of the best cheap games you can get right now, and will pretty much never go away. If you enjoy any of these games, let us know down in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe, and also check out our Discord so you can talk to us about future videos and or podcasts, or even chat with our community. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.